Good afternoon, more Medic One. Today we're working on another Kawasaki, and here is the model and spec. As you can tell, we've got a pretty extensive oil leak, and the first thing that I would check would be to make sure that it's not overfilled. As you can tell, this air filter is just completely soaked. And that's a telltale sign of an engine being overfilled with oil. But in this case, the oil level is non-existent. It's not even on the stick. As you can tell along the base of the engine, we have got an oil slick all the way across. But if you look where the oil pan mounts to the block, it's dry so we're going to dig a little deeper i've already taken the liberty of removing the blower shroud and the flywheel just to save time uh, i've got videos on how to remove flywheels you can go check those out but the main issue is the breather cover gasket fails on these constantly look at the oil puddle there the oil just comes out of the uh, weeps out of the gasket and, and, and goes straight down and pours over into the side of the block fills up this cavity with oil until it just basically runs over goes down on both sides the main issue is the breather cover gasket and what you can do is there is an update kit for this that replaces the insides and it comes with a newer style uh, gasket. To get to this back bolt, you'll have to remove the, uh, the stator. It's just four Phillips head screws. The next thing we need to do, we need to make sure that our reed valve is working correctly. You want it to be able to uh, bleed off pressure, but you want it to hold a vacuum. So you basically, what I like to do is I literally put my mouth, clean this off real good, and put your lips like you're giving your wife a big old smooch, and you blow into the dipstick tube, and listen and watch your reed valve, and then give you and, and give it a suck and it should close and hold a vacuum i'm gonna blow and then i'm going to suck blow suck so it's holding good pressure and relieving the pressure and holding good vacuum so the reed valve is good. The next thing you wanna do is be sure you clean this surface really good and make sure that puppy is oil free of uh, no gasket material left behind and uh, try not to scratch this up too bad. Uh, but I am gonna use my copper spray on this flat gasket and we'll get her back going as soon as I get the parts in. The easiest way to get this all cleaned up is just use a little bit of brake clean. Just douse everything real good. Get everything soaked with the brake clean and then we can take some compressed air and blow it out real good. together with it you going of course you're going to have a new gasket and I sometimes I like to replace this cover because it may be just a little bit warped but if you look down in here we're all good to go all the oil's gone alrighty guys we got the oil leak narrowed down to 
the faulty breather gasket, which is a very common failure on these engines. I did not have a gasket in stock, so as soon as I get that in, we will put it on there. However, I'm going to end this video right here. We're going to call this in a part one. I hate doing two parts, but I think this is some information that I want to get out there pretty quick uh, for you guys that have this style of engine. And you may have an oil leak that you're wondering where in the heck is it coming from? Well, you need to check that gasket because Gary, I almost 100% guarantee uh, if you wash your engine off and it's still leaking and it looks like it's coming from up under the flywheel area, then that's what it's going to be. It's not going to be your uh, your upper uh, crankshaft seal. It's going to be that gasket. I almost guarantee it. But anyway, guys, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. And uh, when I get the gasket in, I'll do another little quick video on how to uh, assemble it all. And uh, we'll set the gap on the coils and uh, torque the flywheel down and all that good stuff. But anyway, y'all have a good rest of your day and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. More Medic One.